Yo, what's up, bad. everybody? Robot Vice here. Once again, I'm bringing you another episode of the first 10 minutes. Um, this game, I'm going to be playing Repair Triant Protector. Back. I've been playing quite a bit of him recently. Um, he's definitely one of the best heroes this patch as far as position 4. Even position 5, can be play you can play him. Um, he's really, really strong, and the new build is kind of going this 4-4. Four, four. Oh. Uh, build with no points and living armor until later and it's very very strong you can stay in lane for a long long time and I'm gonna show you guys in this game why the hero is so strong and it's even against a juggernaut who normally is a pretty big lane dominator uh, but I'm gonna be dual off laning with a wind ranger um, aka good player I'm not sure who this is the divine Two wind ranger um, so I'm going to be doing my thing. Um, let me put on some music for you guys real fast here. So I'm up ahead scouting. Um, that's the whole idea is I'm just uh, getting vision. I'm invisible. So you always want to go your Q first. Um, it also gives you a nice root. Um, so I'm just sitting here and I hit already for 91 damage. So each one of these hits are just so important. They do so much damage. So literally three hits and a couple of hits from the Wind Ranger, and that guy's below half HP. So we zone him off the rune, and we get three out of four runes. So life's pretty good for us down here to start the game. And this is kind of my starting items with Treant. I always start with an Oove, a Clarity, a Mango, a, a set of Tangos, and a Sentry Ward. Because uh, I want to de-ward their sentry ward that they have um, for me. So I get tango so I can hit it easily. And I'm just sitting here in this bounty hunter's right here. Um, I think he um, has a sentry. Um, but he actually, I look at his items and I see that he doesn't. Um, so I just pop my sentry down early so <coughs> he can't harass my wind ranger. And my whole point... My whole purpose here is just to hit this juggernaut and keep him from hitting creeps. And I just force him to spin early here. So he literally takes down just so little of my HP because I have so much of it. And this is just why this hero is so strong. You can just see, like, this juggernaut can't do anything against us. And I'm looking for a pull. I think I... Uh, I probably, I think I missed this. I'm too slow. Maybe I get it. I try to get it. All right, so I get three of the four creeps. Not bad. And I see bounty hunters down here with a sentry. He's ready to deward my sentry. We get it quick. I'm quick on my tango. And then we find a kill onto the bounty hunter. So just hit him, and I get my Wind Ranger first blood. So that's the whole point of starting with the sentry and the tango is just to de-ward. So if you guys didn't know, I'm sure most of you do, but if you didn't know, you can use your tangos on observer wards and sentry wards. And it all, it will take them out in one click rather than making you hit it twice. Because war, observer wards and sentry wards take two hits to destroy. But if you just tango them or use your hatchet, um, you could just de-ward them immediately. So now this Juggernaut can't even hit these creeps uh, because they don't have a sentry ward for me. And as soon as he walks up here, I'm just going to root him and leech seed him. So he can't do anything. Um, I'm not sure if this is the best build, but I've kind of been doing this. When I start off on the good game with Treant, I just go right for a soul ring. Um, it gives me some good HP regeneration and it allows me to spam my leech seed. So I'll have unlimited mana and almost unlimited health with this leech seed. Um, because it heals me. So I get here, I get level 2 Leech Seed. I root him up, pop down the Leech Seed. I force him to spin. Uh, definitely advantageous for me. Uh, we even snipe the, the Witch Doctor even snipes the Courier. So this is a pretty, I, I'm pretty sure I own this game. Um, so I'm just showing you guys like why this hero is so broken, you, why you should be picking him right now. In these dual lanes, this is just how important this hero is. You can see this Juggernaut cannot trade with me. I'm just right-clicking him down. I'm like, let's just dive him. Like, what is he going to do? One click, two clicks, and he's just dead. And I'm just tanking a tower. And there's nothing he can do about it. Wind Ranger pulls me a Tango. I'm like, what am I going to buy? I'm like, all right. 
you know, I already have enough money for it. I'll just buy a soul ring right off the bat. Three minutes soul ring. And that's going to give me HP regen. And that's going to give me mana. I check Lich's items to see if he has a sentry ward. I see that he doesn't. So I know I'm still in the clear. So it's really important if you're playing this hero, make sure you're checking the opponent's items who come into the lane. And I just spam another leech seed. Check the opponent's items when they come in the lane and get ready to tango or hatchet. You could even buy a hatchet just to get rid of the sentry wards and make sure you're quick about it. So I'm gonna fly out the courier here. Here, her. Um, so my soul ring is coming out. And I'm just behind the tower right now. You know, this game is going super well for us. The Juggernaut can't even lane here, so he's not even here. He just went top. He said, screw this lane. So now it's just the Lich down here. And this is just kind of the kind of pressure that this hero can create. So I'm like, all right, let's just kill him. I get level four, I get a level two root, and do a Leech Seed. And bam, he's dead. The bounty hunter TP's down. And I'm paying attention for that first five minutes. If you're playing this position four role, make sure you're rotating over to get these five minute bounty runes. They're very important for your team. And since we have lanes with the lane secured down here, these bounty runes are super easy for me to get. I make sure I'm there at the right time and make sure you start walking over there at 445 if you have to. Even four, you know, even at 430, start walking over there and securing the area. I just leech seed this because um, I know I have the soul ring now, so I know I can take it out. It's just an easy farm for position four. Normally, I wouldn't just pop a shrine like this if I was playing like a competitive game, but since the Wind Ranger is fine, um, doing fine down bottom and has two more tangos, um, I'm like, all right, I'll just pop the shrine here and farm this up for me. I'm going down there, I'm checking their items, and I'm going to start walking down bottom. Queue up some boots of speed, and we're good. And while I'm here, you know, pay attention to the times while you're here. Try to stack these camps. So I stack the ancients. I'm not sure for exactly who just yet, but I know we're going to be able to farm it. They're good down bottom, and the Zeus ends up coming bottom. <laughs> so now it's three bottom, and we force all these rotations. And meanwhile, our Naix is just free farming. So this is going super well for us. And these are just, this is exactly like, you just gotta realize that these rotations are super huge for our team because we're allowing, our, our lanes are freeing up because we're putting on so much pressure in the bottom lane. And I see that my sentry goes down here. And I immediately spot this Lich out of position for one second. Literally just steps out of position. Just one meter out of position. And he's just dead. So I have my boots and I queue up um, another sentry ward because I want to de-ward their sentry ward in the lane that I know they have now. And I see the Lich cut TPing back down. I'm like, let's just kill him again. So I see him. Root him again. The Winninger's not really paying attention here, which is unfortunate. But the Zeus is just starting to destroy me. He ends up getting shackled. And I'm trying to dodge this lightning bolt, but he ends up using it on the Wind Ranger. So I come back in a little bit. And I want to help him out. I'm trying not to block him. But then I see the Zeus run back up a little bit. And I want to dive him, so I'm just waiting right here. I know he's in this little crevice, and he has to come back out. So I'm just sitting here waiting. If he lightning bolted here, that'd be pretty smart of him. But I'm waiting for him just to get greedy for one second and come out for one CS. They end up going onto the Lich, so I know the Zeus is going to come out here, and bam, I just hit him with the Leech Seed into an auto attack, and he's dead. So you can see that this position 4 role is very, very important, okay? Because this is how you can secure your team in the game. I'm having such a good game, I don't even skill my ultimate. I'm just going 3-3. No points on my ultimate at level 6. Um, I'm just maxing out the damage that I can do in the lane, and I don't really prioritize the overgrowth. See the Lich here, I pop a Leech Seed, and I just want to know one auto is going to finish him off. Uh, that's because I have the 3-3 build. So we take him out. Zeus is kind of getting crazy here. So I'm like, I hope he doesn't Lightning Bolt me again. 
I know the bounty hunters over here, so. I see the Zeus, hit him with the Leech Seed, and you can just see the power of this 3 3 build. I have Tranquil Soul Ring, and these guys are just going down to my clicks. My Oove Tick ends up finishing them off. And I know the bounty hunter's over here somewhere. Um, so I just pop down a sentry. I see him immediately. He's going for my sentry ward. I just start clicking him. And I think I might actually go down here. Oh, maybe I don't. And Winner just got dust now, so we get him. Life's good. Um, they dewarded my sentry ward. They have another sentry ward in lane. And I think the Lich scouts me out here for a second. So he starts running over. And I'm starting to regenerate. I end up just leech seeding this creep. And then I kind of walk away stupidly. But then he gets shackled up, getting greedy to try to come kill me. And we just take him out. So we have a 5k lead at 9 minutes. And I'm super farmed. I'm 4, 0, and 5. You can see my net worth. Um, and this is really just... The power of this hero is just insane, guys. And if you're not picking him right now, you should start. He suits that kind of aggressive play style if you play him like this. And I definitely think he's a hero I'm going to be picking a lot more of it as of now in this patch. Um, he's very, very strong. So, you know, kind of replicate this, guys. Take this to your games. And I'm sure you'll see some success and some wins I'll coming your that. way copying this style. Um, the items I'll go into next will be a Meteor Hammer. I'll show you guys. I'll go Meteor Hammer so I can farm. And then I'll go into a Blink Dagger. This game I went to Yule's second item so I could purge the track. And that I could um, dodge the Kunkka combo. The X marks the spot. And then I went for a Blink Dagger third item. So you can see here the final game stats. I ended up going 9-1-26. But it was a great game. Treant's definitely super broken right now, so I'm going to continue playing them while I can. And I hope you guys do the same and get some of them more. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been another episode of the first 10 minutes, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.